Protesters rallied at the Indiana State House against a controversial House bill that would ban transgender girls from playing girl sports across Indiana. Before the rally today, opponents of the bill say it could negatively impact the state's children. Trans people aren't a threat in your schools. Uh, we can't find any place in Indiana or really anywhere across the country where trans girls who are athletes have somehow taken over sports to prevent other girls from competing fairly. What we want is for lawmakers and also the people of Indiana to see that trans people have friends and trans people are their neighbors and trans people live here in Indiana and we feel that our rights are important too. State lawmakers are considering other controversial proposals this session as well. CBS 4's Kristen Eskow is at the State House now and has more on those proposals. Dozens rally for transgender rights as lawmakers consider banning transgender girls from participating in girls' school sports. The bill passed the House last month and is now being considered by the Senate, where lawmakers heard public testimony Wednesday. It would harm children in Indiana and further marginalize transgender youth. It's not a bill to punish anybody. Everybody has an opportunity to play sports. It's not the only education bill being considered that's generated controversy. Another proposal that may move forward would limit what concepts could be taught in schools regarding race, gender, and ethnicity. It would also require certain classroom materials to be posted online. I asked Senate Education Committee Chairman Jeff Rotz why he may allow both bills to advance. Occasionally there are uh, pieces of legislation that are controversial that have to be dealt with or there's a constituency that has to be dealt that believe it has to be dealt with. Instead of addressing the teacher shortage instead of addressing student mental health, we're getting sidetracked with all these bills that are moving through the process. Also this week, House Speaker Todd Houston resigned from his executive role at the College Board as activists and an online article raised questions about his position and support of the school curriculum bill. Houston sent us a statement that reads in part, quote, Since taking on the role of House Speaker, I've contemplated how I could best balance the tremendous level of responsibility required in my substantial role at the College Board and as a public servant. Ultimately, I decided to leave the College Board family. From the Indiana State House, Kristen Eskow, CBS 4 News. Kristen, thank you. A spokesperson for Speaker Houston says that his resignation from the College Board was not related to any legislative efforts.